court in Germany has sentenced five men to several years in prison for their part in an audacious robbery from a museum in Dresden. 18th century jewellery worth more than $100 million was stolen. One man was acquitted. Live now to our Berlin correspondent, Jenny Hill, who is in Dresden. So we have a verdict, Jenny. Yes, we do. Five men, all of them in their 20s, convicted of this really audacious heist, you know, the details of which really shocked many people who were wondering how on earth the gang had managed to pull this off. Let me give you some of those details. They prepared this meticulously in advance. This is the museum behind me, which is, well, once you see past the tour bus, it's home to a treasure trove of 18th century jewellery and diamond encrusted items. The men had wrecked the site several times and they prepared their entry point in advance, cutting through the bars of a window using hydraulic cutting machinery. Somehow they went undetected. They then taped up those bars until such time as they were ready to pull off their heist. When they were ready, they set fire to an electrical circuit breaker box nearby, plunging these streets into darkness, allowing two men to slip inside, wearing masks, wielding axes. They smashed display cases and made off with the jewels. This is a crime which not only shocked the art world, but raised a lot of questions about the security in place at the museum at the time. And the attempt to find the perpetrators was also quite creative. It wasn't an easy task, was it? Yeah, it was a year-long police investigation before the first arrests in this case were made. Um, the jewels have, uh, for the most part, now been returned to the museum. Now, that, I'm told, is very rare in such cases. It happened because three of the men on trial, three of the men convicted, uh, pleaded guilty. They actually confessed to the theft and struck a deal with prosecutors saying that we'll tell you what we did with some of the loot if you give us a lighter sentence. And that meant the police were able to recover a lot of the collection. But, you know, some items are still missing. And whilst the collection which was returned is damaged, very dirty, it's currently being restored by experts at the museum, those items which are still missing, it's feared, will probably never be recovered. And it's very important for Dresden, isn't it? I mean, we don't need to remind ourselves that it was very badly damaged during the war and the castle, otherwise known as the palace, has only relatively, this museum has only relatively recently opened. Yeah, um, I mean, you can probably see all the visitors and tour buses moving around behind me here. You know, people come to the city of Dresden to marvel at its fantastic architecture. All these old buildings were rebuilt um, after the World War and restored to their former glory. But inside so many of these buildings are such treasures of which Germany is really rightly proud. And this was part of a royal collection amassed by... Um, a man named Augustus the Strong back in the 18th century. He actually was in a bit of a competition with the French king at the time, trying to outdo one another in terms of what they had. Um, he was a particular, particularly passionate about jewellery and jewels. And he amassed this fabulous collection of diamonds and other precious stones. And he was so proud of it that he actually designed the vault, the so-called green vault, in which it is displayed now um, or until this theft and that's in the, um, the state museum behind me there and one of the curators here actually the director of the collection was saying to me just yesterday that he had always planned that this collection should be shown in its entirety that was the whole point he wanted visitors to the green vault to be overwhelmed by the colours and the different precious materials that they would be confronted by when they stepped into the vault. And that's still the concept at the museum to this day. And that is why here at the museum, uh, curators are so upset, devastated, that whilst they've managed to get a lot of the collection back, it will never really be whole again, they fear. Jenny, thank you so much.